Welcome back to Games Revealed. I'm James and also the Brink and we are one. And today I want to talk about Linus's video and mostly really Windows on the Steam Deck. And yes, there are drivers and the Steam Deck mostly works now with Windows. But Linus came out with a video saying you should, it's really not ready for Windows yet. The Steam Deck or Windows is not ready for the Steam Deck or vice versa. And I really recommend going and watching it if you're thinking about installing Windows. And some of these re issues will probably be resolved by the time you get your Steam Deck, but it might, might as well bring these up now and then we'll see in a couple months if they are resolved. Uh, maybe I'll be making another video, who knows? But I wanted to watch and study this video and I did my homework and I have some notes and I'm gonna give you guys what I think from this video. So before we get into it, like, subscribe, bash that bell with your crowbar and let's get into it. I'm gonna make sure that I don't you know, steal everything from the video and I'm gonna try to make this a little bit shorter so that you can go watch his video, which is really good. And I really liked it. He always does a great job. And so let's get into it. First up, what I noticed was Windows just wasn't complete. It wasn't a complete experience that is. And, and Windows has always struggled portable wise. I've never really enjoyed it on a portable device. Um, even on my laptop that has uh, a touch screen on it, it's just okay. I have a Surface also that's over here. Um, uh, a Microsoft Surface Pro, and it's good a enough, but it does lack. It's obviously lacking compared to like Android and iOS, like that are built from the ground up for touch. They are getting better every year, but watching this video gave me a little bit of pause to whether or not I will be putting Windows on my device for real when I first get it. For content for this channel, of course, I'm gonna be running Windows. You know, that's without a doubt, but Personally, if I my personal Steam Deck, if I had one, I don't know if I would, and I'd stick with Steam OS. And to be honest, that's gonna be the best experience. Now, I'll dual boot at the very minimum, and that's not even ready yet, you know. And they even say that in their uh in the video and also in their change log, I believe, for the drivers for Windows from Steam or Valve. So let's just go through a couple of these notes real quick. Um, the touchpad just doesn't look intuitive. You have to use the triggers to um, click and double click and stuff like that, where it would have been nice to have the touchpad be able to like, maybe you can double tap on it, but to click down would be nice. Um, so it functioned a lot like a laptop. Be, be nice, not the end of the world. I can do triggers, I've done that before. Um, the UAC seems like it's having some issues, like so the, uh, the prompt to allow programs to get installed or run in certain circumstances. Um, doesn't seem to work great. And to be honest, Windows has always had kind of issues with this anyway. So between the, the Steam Deck drivers for the Windows and that there can be a little bit of trouble there and that might be more of a Windows issue. So I don't know if there's anything that S Valve can do to fix it, but we'll see if Windows fixes that. The speakers and the audio jack do not work and yet. They don't have drivers for the speakers or the audio jack. I bet you that will be remedied pretty soon. It seems like it'd actually be an easy one to actually get done. But once again, I'm not a driver um, programmer. I don't write program, uh, program, you know, drivers. And so I don't know the complexities of that, but I bet you that's going to come sooner than later. Um, Doom, watching him play Doom was obvious that it, it ran better on Linux. Than it or Steam OS than it did on Windows for this device. Now, Doom runs really well, actually. I was really impressed on both, but it was pretty obvious that you're gonna have a better experience with the Steam Deck. And I think that's gonna be the case for most games. I think if you're expecting uh, Windows to be a better experience for games than Steam OS, most cases, I bet you're gonna get better uh, frames per second on the Steam Deck, both because Steam OS is optimized for the Steam Deck op um, hardware it's also linux it's gonna it's a smaller footprint than windows and then there's just like optimizations that that valve's doing right now with the proton so i think there's a lot that goes into it usually i wouldn't see um a translation layer do so well but really they are really kicking ass right now i feel like with the performance that being said i'm going to be doing another video sometime soon about performance on the Steam Deck and how it can vary. I have noticed some games, their lows and highs are very, <laughs> very different. And so that is a little bit of a concern for me, but so far, watching a lot of people play games, they're not too concerned about it, it seems like so far, but I mean, maybe there's a channel out there that I just don't know about. Watching the video, it looked like there was about a five to 15 
FPS difference between the Windows and Steam OS. So that's not too bad, um, but it's also pretty big, meaning at least it's not like 30s plus. Like uh, I, Hitman wasn't even really playable on the Steam Deck with Windows, but it you could at least get into the 30s with Steam Deck on low. And Hitman is one of those ones that kind of struggles, right? Anyways, with the Steam Deck. I don't think the Windows drivers will be supported by Valve and AMD forever. I, I just, I have a feeling I've read about some stuff that is just potentially they might not release a lot of new drivers for Windows um, for the AMD hardware. Too much. We'll see, though. And there was issues with drivers from AMD and NVIDIA back in the day, and there used to be third-party um, this is way back, like 10, 15 years ago, third party uh, people that would create open source software that would improve the drivers and tweak them to be better than what you could get from these vendors. What this could also be what opens up this. So I'm not going to say Windows is doomed, even if they stop supporting the drivers in the sense like they release drivers, it's done when there's still obviously work that needs to be done um, and they're not done, but w there will probably be a point when they call it done and there probably could still be performance tweaks. And so I bet you will see third party drivers for the Steam Deck for Windows. Uh, dual booting is still not available. It will not be available until Steam OS hits its final um, installer. So once the final Steam OS releases with installer, so you can install it on any device, they, this dual booting is not a, a, a viable option. So either you have to choose Windows or Linux or I believe even install it on an SD card and then you can boot it off that. So the brightness slider seemed to be, have issues when watching the video. It looked like you had to really play softly with it to get it to adjust the brightness just right. Then sleep mode also had issues. If you, you know, put it, the device to sleep and then try to wake it back up, it oftentimes wouldn't. And this has been always been a, a major problem with Windows where sometimes if it goes to sleep on portable devices, it just does not wake up and you have to hard reset. To be fair though, more and more computers are having this issue. I have this issue with my MacBook sometimes. I have had this issue with gaming laptops depending on the device. So it could also depend on the drivers from AMD. There's a lot that could go into play with this, but we'll see if that gets fixed in the near future. I've seen this issue persist in other devices for a very long time before getting fixed. And so I don't have a lot of hope that this will be fixed in the next three months. So if you rely on sleep mode, this might be an issue for you for Windows. Uh, Wi-Fi is not working yet either uh, from, a looks, from the looks of it. You can connect an Ethernet to the uh, Ethernet to USB-C and do it that way or through a dongle. I do recommend a dongle in one of my other videos, but and that's actually Linus recommended a dongle, too. So I was right. I was right. The conspiracy is right. You need a dongle to play this. No, but really, like. Dongles are just nice for this type of device. You can plug in HDMI. You can plug in so many different things and just do so much with the device. I definitely recommend a dongle. And it does work with the Windows uh, drivers. And then charging seems to have a little bit of an issue where in SteamOS, it didn't really have an issue for Linus, but in Windows, it looked like it could even drain. Sometimes when you have it plugged in, it just wouldn't even charge. So that's, that's kind of a big issue for me, actually. Um, but it doesn't look like it's too bad. Just a warning there i also want to note that like <laughs> linus is swimming in so many steam decks that he can have them for stands i'm sure he uses them for stands for his keyboard he uses it for, you know just you know to wipe his ass whatever it is he has a lot of steam decks on him and you know what linus you can gift me some i'm sure he, i'm sure he only has like two or three okay and so it was like i said it was a good video i'd go watch it if i was you it really did bring out a lot uh, and he answered a lot of questions that I had about Windows on the Steam Deck. And I bet you half these things are gonna be resolved in the future or in the near future. But the concerning thing is, will the other half be resolved within the next year or two? We'll see, we'll find out. Or is it gonna be a third party? I think one way or another, eventually Windows will be a good option. It's just, the, I think the best option is always gonna be Steam OS. And I just don't think there's gonna be anything that's gonna beat it in the near future or in the far future, or in you know the future period. Um, but I have to say at least Valve's given us options and that is very indicative like of them just uh, having Windows drivers and saying, hey, look, we don't recommend it right now, but you have options 
to play with Windows. I, I like that. I like having options. I like that Valve's doing good on that. And it just shows that they they don't because that costs them resources. They don't have to support Windows, but it costs because it costs them resources. But at the same time, other people want it. And so I'm glad that they're fulfilling that want. Windows is not recommended for the Steam Deck right now. Linus recommends that after watching him and some other creators. I, I could not recommend Windows for the Steam Deck right now unless you that's the main reason you're buying is to play a specific AAA game on Windows with this device, then install it and then you're going to have to there. You're, you're, you can get around some of the caveats and some of the issues with it. So in the end, I don't recommend it ultimately. Um, but like I said, this will change with time. I bet you within a few months, at least it will be decent enough. Just not better than SteamOS. That is it. That's all I have to say. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments below whether or not you're going to install Windows or stick with SteamOS or are you going to dual boot? Let me know. Thank you guys for watching and catch you guys next time. Later!